How nice has it been to have him out here at training again? It's good. You know, it's good for him, you know, good for him to get back into the rhythm. And so, you know, he was able to do some fitness work last week while we were gone in Chicago. And uh, so now he's able to be full part of the team training. Did a little bit of extra work today. So, you know, I mean, yesterday, so no extra work for him today. But, you know, he's making progress, feeling more comfortable. Does he seem like the same player as last time or different now or too early to tell? Uh, you know, players all grow and they all mature. You know, he's had a lot of experiences since he left here, you know, back in Sweden, also playing in Italy and, and in Denmark. So, you know, I think those experiences have done him well. So, so right now it's just a matter of just continuing to work and get his touch. Uh, knowing a player like you know him, I mean, they always talk about how it's sort of a mid-season transition to MLS can be kind of hard. The fact that he knows the team and knows the league, is that going to maybe ease that a little bit? Yeah, I think it's going to help his transition. So his transition is just uh, right now he just has to deal with the fact of, of just getting his fitness and getting his touch, you know, because he's a little bit in, in preseason form. But in terms of transitioning to the team or he knows the city, he knows guys on the team already, you know, he's, he knows what to expect, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So the, all those things make it easier. Sure. Where would you assess his fitness at um, right now? Uh, he's, probably, he's probably maybe 75, 80 percent fit. Any idea of when he could be put in the 18? Yeah, well, it's not just fitness, it's also touches on the ball, timing, you know, things like that, you know. So, I mean, a lot of times when you're working through fitness in preseason, you know, you're not playing your best soccer because cause when you're tired a little bit, decisions aren't the best. So I think, you know, every day his touches get better. So I'm not going to speculate, you know, we'll see where, we see where we're at on Saturday and we'll see what we do. You had said this might be a week that Oba's workload goes up a little bit. Is that, uh, is that happening? Yeah, his workload, you know, went up the last two days, you know, so what we're trying to do is basically like plateau him as well. Uh, so, you know, we plateaued him a little bit. We really pushed him the last two days uh, and then we'll plateau him again for two days, uh, you know, and then we'll we'll start pushing again on Friday and we'll see. And how's Stefan Fry doing? Uh, better, you know, better. Did some uh, more more handling today, lighter handling today. Uh, so we'll see how he is, you know, coming in. He'll come in tomorrow and hopefully continue to advance. Could we see him back in the 18 at least for Saturday? Don't know at this stage. Speaking of Saturday, I guess, uh, what do you know so far about Colorado? I know you've played them. This is another go around with the Western uh, Conference. You get, get to see those teams a lot. This is our third time <laughs> with them. Yeah, uh, you know, obviously they've come off two wins, so they're very happy about that. You know, they've done a... They've done a good job getting those two wins, you know, so they're a team right now that's got a little bit of confidence and, uh, you know, we have to be ready, we have to be sharp, but we have to play with, uh, uh, with more uh, intensity than we played with in Chicago. Uh, you know, we have to, not necessarily more intensity, it's not like we didn't run enough in Chicago, we ran enough, but we got to run at the right times, we got to be sharp uh, and we got to be quick in our, in our thought process. Do you think you know, without uh, Dempsey and Oba that, that the team is gelling a little more, getting a better feel for the, the guys that you do have out there playing? Uh, you know, I mean, we, we need to win with the group of players that are out there playing right now, too. I mean, last year we missed we missed Dempsey for a long time. We missed Yedlin for a long time with the World Cup and so forth, and uh, we still continue to win games in that period of time. And we've got to do the same thing now. So the guys who are out there on the field, you know, it's incumbent upon them to step up right now and, and get those goals and get those wins.